Well, I'm Walt Mossberg. Shut up. It's the end times, people, and it's terrifying. The release of Windows 7 is just around the corner, and our dear and gentle savior, Apple's orgasm-inducing Snow Leopard, won't be released in time to protect us. And don't expect Linux to save you either. That drunken idiot's running naked through the streets trying to convince everyone he's a real man because he drew genitals over his Kendall crutch with a sharpie. You'd be on your own if it wasn't for me, so be thankful. It's possible that old hardware won't have the proper device drivers when Windows 7 is released, so if you own a really old printer or scanner, it might stop working. Once installed, Windows 7 will phone every person in your contacts list, and using a sophisticated new voice synthesizer, we'll spend hours explaining, in your voice, why the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings movies were less true to the spirit of the novels than the theatrical releases. If your friends are still on the line after the first hour, Windows 7 will continue the conversation in Elvish. Using a new microwave ray gun, which comes bundled with every copy of the operating system, Windows will kill any pets that come near your computer. This is to protect your keyboard. However, due to a bug in the programming, Windows 7 will also microwave your grandmother. That's right, actual herpes. If you already have herpes, it'll give you syphilis. Turns out that Windows 7 is a valley religious, and it thinks that by killing your firstborn child, it will appease the vengeful god Steve Ballmer. That's some pretty terrifying stuff right there. If your depends aren't overflowing with warm, goopy fear right now, like mine are, then you need to go through the list again and again until you fully understand the dangers we're all facing. Sure, XP is evil too, but it simply can't do as much to you as Windows 7 can. Sure, the clock speed of an abacus is a little slow, but it won't give you herpes. Unless you get your abacus from a hooker. One way to stop the spread of Windows 7 is to limit the number of places it can arrive. Your local Best Buy, Walmart, and Post Office are all infestation points. Do a Google search for how to make a Molotov cocktail and start helping your community. Hide out in an Apple Store. The geniuses at the Apple Store will know what to do. They're so great. One time, they replaced my broken iPod even though I didn't have a receipt. And while you're there waiting out the apocalypse, why not buy some more Macs? Mac users have never had to upgrade at once in their history of their product, ever. If nothing else works, you'll have to kill the head Windows 7. I'm talking, of course, about Steve Ballmer. Once that bastard's down, all of the copies of Windows 7 will deactivate. If you don't know what he looks like, he'll be the bald, greasy bastard flopping on the street yelling, Windows 7, Windows 7, Windows 7, while the world burns. Well, that's it. Follow my tips and keep a cool head and you should get through this. Oh, oh no. They're already here. They're everywhere. I'm Walt Musburg. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up.